In September, Netflix released a Korean series called Squid Game. It turned into a world phenomenon overnight. It has already been recognized as the most watched international series, and it might become the most popular streaming series in history. Watch out! Spoilers! The whole world went crazy about Squid Game. TikTok was busting with series-inspired videos, while the Belgian government didn't allow teenagers to watch the show so they wouldn't imitate the dangerous games they saw there. At the same time, many people claim that the series cannot offer anything new. Why is it so popular then? Do you like our video breakdowns of movies and series? Subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. The plot in a nutshell. The main character Song Ki-hoon lives with his mother. He is an indebted gambler whose business went down and who cannot afford a birthday present for his daughter. Ripple men threaten him to cut out his kidney and his mother needs expensive treatment. That's why he agrees to take part in a game where 456 participants put their lives on the line to win 45.6 billion won, which is equal to 38.5 million dollars. survival game. Even though Squid Game was the most successful series of last fall, many accused the series of being secondary. It reminds of a Japanese TV show Alice in Borderland, where the characters have to survive playing a game in a weird, emptied out version of Tokyo. All the Hunger Games where such a game is legal and adored by millions. But the most obvious reference is the legendary Japanese movie Battle Royale. It tells the story of school children sent to fight against each other on some island. Moreover, many people claim the series plagiarizes as The God's Will, a movie that shows children playing various games. This time, however, they are organized by mystical creatures and the winner gets to survive. Still, it's hard to blame Squid Game for being secondary only because it tells a story about death games. Western and Asian cinema industry is filled with similar movies, series and anime. Even today, you are likely to see such a movie in your local movie theatre. The genre of survival games is not new. It's based on established canons and rules. It includes horror set social criticism like in the Cube movie series or in the 2019 movie Platform. Lord of the Flies was one of the first movies to analyze the entire society on a micro level. Moreover, the author of Squid Game made himself clear and admitted he was inspired by ideas from anime, manga and different movie adaptations. For example, the series is inspired by Liar Game and Gambling Advent Chronicle Kaiji. At the same time, the colourful picture and excessive violence is a reference to the iconic British conspiracy show Utopia, released in 2013. Playgrounds look like they are taken from comics and resemble Animal World, a Chinese movie where the main character tries to pay his debts by taking part in a death-threatening rock-paper-scissors game on a spaceship. The creation. So how did Squid Game manage to stand out from so many popular series? Pan Dong Hyuk, the author of the series, started writing it over 10 years ago. He had a hard time and even had to sell his laptop to get at least some money. Later he directed the historical epic movie The Fortress, the comedy Miss Granny, and the social drama Silenced, which tells about real cases of physical and sexual abuse at a school for the deaf. The film sparked a public outcry and influenced the adoption of the Toga Nilo, named after the Korean title of the film, which abolished any statute of limitations for sexual assault of children under 13 and the disabled. So it's no surprise that Hwan dong he managed to combine the revealing tone of a social drama the tense feeling of a thriller, all together with touching episodes of people uniting in the face of danger. Squid Game is not the most violent product of Asian cinema. 
yet it still looks inhuman, and the blood chilling scenes usually contrast with the infantile style of the games people play. Vivid colors, coffins that look like gift boxes, like the one the main character gave to his daughter, make the contrast more striking, so we relate to the characters even more. One of the series' main breakthroughs was the fashion model Chung Hoyeon, who played a North Korean refugee. Nevertheless, she can easily be replaced by another actress, whereas Lee Jong Jae absolutely stole the show. At first, he looked like a mischievous trickster. It's an archetypal image for both Asian, mainly Hong Kong movies, and world cinema in general. If you replace his image with the image of Charlie Chaplin, the whole performance gets even more profound. Player 456 turns out to be a deep character. He took part in a strike that ended up with bloodshed, saw his colleague die right next to him, and suffered from depression and overwhelming self-contempt. Lee Jong Jae played him so authentically, just have a look at this smile. His acting makes the most absurd and long scenes look intriguing. For example, when he has to ignore his feelings to trick his partner while playing marbles. The issue of poverty. The most basic reason to explain the popularity of Squid Game is Hallu, the K-wave or Korean wave, which marks the popularity of Korean culture. The entertainment industry, including Korean dramas and K-pop, is no less profitable than the export of beauty care products and technologies. But it's a highly competitive market. Several new Korean dramas are released every month. Some of them are airing on Netflix, but none of them have previously been popular all over the world. The thing is, Squid Game, just like another South Korean Oscar-winning drama, Parasite, shows both Korean and world issues. At the same time, it exploits a typical Korean cliché, combining different styles. It voices social issues, like in Parasite, shows violence and abuse, we've seen it in Old Boy, mixing them with colorful and vivid visuals. It helps the viewer not to get lost in unusual names and places. By the way, Korean cinema is not only social dramas and ruthless revenge stories. Join our course Cinema Genres to learn more about Asian cinema. You'll find out what made Korean cinema a world phenomenon and how local studios create movies that turn out to be more popular than Hollywood movies. The link to the course is in the bio. The underlying meanings of the series get really clear as soon as you learn a bit about South Korea. And we're not talking about children's games here. The whole country is debt ridden. Even local celebrities, we call them idols, are paying off their parents' debts after receiving their first huge checks. As a matter of fact, there is fierce competition in Korea and it all starts at school. Reputation is one of the major values, and bankruptcy means not only financial issues, but also social stigma. That's why the suicide rate is extremely high here. Actually, it's one of the highest in the world. Competition Trapped on an island and fighting for money, participants of the survival game represent young Koreans who struggle with finding a job. South Korea is separated from all of Asia, so the citizens keep in mind they cannot move anywhere. They work hard to earn a decent living. Korea is also proven to be one of the countries with the biggest difference between the highest and the lowest incomes. And good education doesn't guarantee success. The youth unemployment rate is 22%. At the same time, there are many elderly people who live on the breadline. Mysterious animal-masked VIP guests watching the game for the fun of it are not just some bored and disgusting moneybags. These are Chebol, the most powerful and influential Korean businessmen. At first they helped boost the economy, but then they were largely criticized for abuse of power. The game follows a strict set of rules that embody the social pressure any Korean faces. 
For example, until recently they couldn't even have lunch alone. It was socially frowned upon. The series reflected all the features of modern Korean society, such as mandatory military drafting, even K-pop idols have to serve, focus on individual success, the show repeats several times that player 218 graduated from Seoul University, and respect toward the hierarchical system. Some blame Confucianism for such a complex social structure. The teaching came to Korea from China and formed the basis of legislation, encrypting the core ideas of the teaching into the moral compass. The ideas of loyalty, kindness and respect for elders has resulted in bullying at schools, universities and offices of modern Korea. And Player 001 is the literal embodiment of such an order. He is old and pitiful, so the protagonist cares about him. But in the finale, we learn the hard truth. He's the one behind the ruthless system. The concept of Han. The key idea to understanding the series is the concept of Han. The word is used to refer to emotions in the form of grief or resentment that the entire Korean nation experiences. Yet it's not passive, it always works as a reaction to injustice. It's especially important for Korean cinema. In the first half of the 20th century, the country fought against the Japanese invaders, whose war crimes were no less diabolical than those of the German Nazis. Then the Korea was torn apart by the civil war, and later they had to resist the dictators. Now Korea's main issue is the huge rift between different social groups, which increases social injustice and oppression. Han is the feeling the protagonist experiences at the end, when he decides to fight against the mastermind of the games. A similar experience of Han was shown in Old Boy and Train to Busan. When Song Gi-hoon, player 456, dyed his hair red, it marked his transformation from victim to avenger. This way, his inner rage finally broke through and pushed him against the system. Society in a nutshell Unlike many other movies about survival games, Squid Game manages to show the flaws of the system. No matter how strict and militarized the rules are, there's always room for corruption. The gods steal the bodies of injured players and get engaged in illegal organ trafficking. The island with its playground is a society in a nutshell. The frontman, the onlooker of the game, believes all players have equal chances of winning. Actually, they can quit the game, but it is just an illusion. The characters give up their chance to get out as soon as the piggy bank is filled with money. This and the excitement turn on the players more than armed gods. That's why we see Jacques Lacan's work on the theory of desire. The French philosopher believed that the human world is formed due to the initial competition between people. These incredible dangerous children's games turn out to be a simple yet evident demonstration of this concept. Can it be the reason why the whole world keeps talking about Squid Game? Despite the many plot lines relevant to South Korea only, everyone understands the main topics of the series. Freedom of choice, social injustice and real closeness between people. Moreover, we tend to compare ourselves with the characters and think about what we would do in a similar situation. So even if you didn't like the series, you've definitely asked yourself if money is worth your humanity. How do you feel about Squid Game? Did you get what you expected? Share your thoughts in the comments. Korean dramas constitute a small part of diverse and mind-blowing Asian cinema. Actually, the cinema industry of Korea, Japan and China was formed differently and has little in common with Hollywood or European cinema. They always have something to offer the Western viewers. 
This cinema is not limited to samurai or yakuza movies. Asian cinema often transcends genre structure, experimenting with storytelling styles and visual language. In our course, Cinema Genres from Comedy to Horror Movies, we analyze Asian cinema and its influence on modern directors from all over the world. The link is in the description box.